The executive mayor of Steve Chwete municipality, Mkhoni Shomasilela, is today expected to hold a press conference in Middleburg in Bumalanga. This comes after a security guard allegedly shot dead one worker and injured three others at the municipality. The workers have been on strike for weeks, demanding salary increases and the removal of both the mayor and municipal manager. SBC News reporter Tumelo Machoko has the story. Definitely there would be money that would be spent. Dumelo, a very good morning to you. Um, what, uh, is, what is the latest with regards to the shooting at the municipality and uh, what uh, legal measures are being taken? The other issue would been on strike now for about a month now, for four weeks now, that the workers have been on strike demanding that their salary be increased. But also they are demanding that the, the mayor and the municipal manager be axed at the municipality. The workers have been on strikes, rubbish has not been collected on the streets, and you remember on the 17th of August that's when private security guards that have been hired by the municipality to guard the municipal properties uh, allegedly shot four uh, people, one of them died, uh, that men appeared in court, Bright Mkunu appeared in court yesterday. Uh, we expecting that uh, 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 the judgment on that bail hearing will be made on Friday. In court yesterday, he, in a statement that he made to court, he said that he acted in self-defense and he's saying that uh, he acted in self-defense. Uh, some of the people were coming towards him, they were confronting him, so he, that's when he started charging uh, uh, that firearm. But also saying that some of the workers that have been protesting, allegedly they were drunk on the day. He said that they were drunk and some of them also had the firearms with them and they were also firing at them. But the police have denied that. Uh, I've actually refuted those allegations saying that uh, in the videos that they have as the police they have not seen uh, uh, any of those uh, uh, guns or people actually charging towards towards the shooter, uh, uh, Brian Mgunu. But he did, uh, did admit that he did uh, fire his firearm and also but he did fire in self-defense. But right now, uh, uh, Desiree, we've got the, the, speak, the, the, the executive Mayor of Steve Trader Municipality, Mkhonisha Masidela, just to talk to us about the incident that has been happening at the municipality and also the announcement that you are expected to make this morning. That day you are expected to have the, uh, 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 an announcement this morning. Just talk to us first about that before we can get to the, the incident that has happened there at the municipality. What were you expected to announce today? Because the workers have been expecting uh, an, some announcement from you. Thank you very much, uh, Tumelo. Let me greet the all people from Steve Trader. Uh, the announcement that we want to do today, that yesterday we have a council sitting, and then the, the council took a decision that he appointed the Madam Goni as a new acting M, as a new uh, uh, MM for Steve Chet. So, so the, the workers they've been demanded that the acting M, MM be fired. So, uh, you guys now have uh, given in and appointed the new MM. Uh, we must not forget that uh, the acting MM was uh, appointed by the council so that he, he act for three months. So now the, the position is closed, now we have a new MM. Mr. Masilele, just talk to us about also the incident that has happened there. Why were security guards, uh, private security guards, being brought to the, to the municipality to guard the, 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 the municipality? Just take, to, uh, take us through that, because that led to the incident where people were shot there at the municipality. In the municipality for the period of uh, four months, it was not normal. A lot of accidents, uh, one of the CFO was attacked, uh, other employees were they were attacked also, and also the acting MM was not safe. And then also other councillors, two councillors, that they were attacked in the meetings. So then the council felt that no, we need to upgrade the security uh, uh, so that we make sure that everyone is safe. We must not forget uh, other workers; they were attacking some other workers also. And then there's, they've opened some cases that uh, because they are working, others they are not working. So that was a challenge that. Uh, they threaten those other workers to they must not go to work. I know we can't discuss the issue of the courts now, but uh, those uh, security guards that you guys have to brought, brought in, they, were, they had assault rifles. They had like huge uh, ammunition with them. Why was it important to bring uh, security guards with, with such a heavy handedness on, on these uh, people that are protesting and some of them which were protesting outside the, the, the municipal boundaries? No, that one, uh, I, don't, I don't want to comment uh, so much because that matter is subject to care. 
Okay, and that day, but let's talk about the workers now. The workers are crying. They, they're saying that the municipality has been upgraded, so their salaries should also be increased as the municipality has been upgraded to, to level five. Their salaries also should be adjusted. They are also calling for that. Uh, what's going to happen with that uh, negotiation? Because we understand you guys with some who have, uh, you guys have had meetings before with the municipal workers union. What is going on there? And uh, uh, are we going to get a resolution anytime soon? Let me just give you more clarity in terms of that one. I've wrote two letters to the Pagani Council where the, uh, the Samo and Madhu and Salga sit. Unfortunately, part I got a response from the Pagani Council. They said this matter is a matter of Pagani Council. It's not a, a competence of the municipality. But what we did as a municipality, we said uh, we, de- we will move them from the Fandemerve and we take them to Tuscrit where they get uh, 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 their own municipality where they went to Gomanzi and make sure they do a benchmarking. But then talk to me about, I, I'm, because I'm a little bit lost, talk to, uh, to, just explain a bit for, uh, for our viewers who would not know what's going on with these uh, uh, issues of uh, salary increase. Why do they want, they want salary increase because they're saying that the municipality has been upgraded. So that should automatically mean that their salaries also should be up- upgraded. Just talk to us about that. I, just, uh, I, I think I'm, I'm not getting you there. Thank you very much, uh, Tumelo. In terms of the bargaining council, we've wrote letters, my office, too. We said we want to implement the, the grading to grade 5 because there's a report that was coming from the 21st century that municipality must be at uh, grade 5. But unfortunately, we must not forget we have 270, uh, 257 municipalities in the country. All the municipalities, they are facing the same issue. So unfortunately, part, as a municipality, we don't have that powers to give them the, the grade. We need to make sure all the unions on the national bargaining council where they must agree. But what I've got a report that some did not, did not sign during COVID-19 because they've lost their leaders. But now I believe that it will be, there's a new leadership from some that will make sure that he, they attend this matter. As a council, we have, up, we have approved an item that sooner the bargaining council approve will pay the workers. Okay, that then just talk to us about now uh, we've seen the town. The town has de- deteriorated. We've seen the town is dirty. They're not rubbish collected. People are not working. The municipal workers are not working. So se- services are not provided to the, to the community. And these are rate payers. The people are paying the, uh, 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 the municipality. What are you guys doing to ensure that the streets are clean and also services are rendered to those people who are not getting services, especially the, the, the community that are affected uh, and they're not getting services from the municipality, but they're paying for these services. Services. Thank you very much. Good question. Uh, what we need to do now currently, we'll meet uh, the MSC and also the COSAT so that we solve the matter today. So we believe that after that meeting, we'll get uh, good results. But in unfortunately, part of the services, we have appointed contractors that are in the panels, the one that are assisting us in terms of service of delivery. It's only that we're not collecting the waste. Yes. Okay, that, thank you so much. That was Mkhonishwa Masilela, the executive mayor of Steve Chwete Municipality, just talking to us about the incident that has been happening here at Steve Chwete Municipality. I can tell you that Desiree, the town, it used to be one of the cleanest towns here in Bumalanga, but now, since the protest started, it's one of the dirtiest uh, city here in Bumalanga. Dimelo Machoho, bring us up to speed there with that story in Middleburg in Bumalanga.